Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so I'm gonna do a Lord's Ball video, Lord's Cup. What? What's it called? What's it called? Uh, it's Lord's Cup. Yeah, Lord's Cup. All right. Um, so I've I noticed a lot of people don't do this event because it's boring, uh, and I understand that. But there's some nice incentive of doing your solo cup. Um, not to drink. Uh, the solo cup is nice to drink, but the solo cup for the for the for the Lords Mobile. <laughs> so the two things really. Um, it's for the uh, monstrous chest. It's only three. Usually you get gray items, but you just never know. You might get lucky. So uh, if you're free to play, uh, there's some stuff in there that obviously uh, the toxins, the venom, the blueprints, the I mean suckers, fine. Jade Orb uh, for the range and research, glowing halo mix. The brains for uh, Skull Crusher, if your team Skull Crusher, you'll notice there's no Frostwing hearts. So that's why um, Skull Crusher usually is better because there's more ways to get the brains, even though it takes uh, twice as many rares. There's the Curse Skull and the Lightning Vial. So basically the Noceros and the Bloodsuckers, they, they're good for your speed set. Uh, Bloodsuckers also good for infantry. You also get a green blazing embers. Uh, you guys know that uh, blazing embers are not that easy to get, so that's a green one. Um, you get some gems, you get some speed up. Um, it takes, like I'll show you guys, it'll take about five minutes to do. So first of all, the setup, you need to have your uh, speed gear on. So speed gear, it is. These piece of equipment are from Saber Fang. So these all give uh, travel speed. There's also a champion boots that gives travel speed, but if you're free to play, you most likely don't have those. There, uh, the Noceros, the electric lens gives travel speed. There is also a Saber Fang uh, main hand that gives travel speed, but it gives the same thing. So basically, if you go to the main end and you compare, where are they? The electric lens gives uh, 21 travel speed at mythic and the same thing from the ripper claw so basically to me there's no real reason to get the ripper claw you're just you're just using uh bloodsuckers that you could use on other piece of equipment and as you can see uh on my set let's go back to the set i use them on all three of these so and they're best in class except for the boots which I'm not going for the boots for um, for the champion. And then the often currently there's nothing. Uh, you could also put some jewels in there like this one, the Sable Jewel. Sable, Saber Jewel, come on. Uh, what's going on? Okay, so uh, it's only one person travel speed. Uh, all, the, um, all the HP travel speed are good for that. It can go, I cannot see. Uh, I think at max you get like, is it 5%? It's not that big. Uh, let's go see the cabinet. Let's go look at this. Yeah, you get 5%, you get it at max. If you're free to play, these are really hard to come by. So um, it's up to you guys if you want to put, put those jewels in your set. So that's the first setup. You need to have this equip. So if, and then the second setup is you, uh, you want to add some bookmarks. So I will have a ball spawn bo um, uh, bookmark, uh, which is here. And as you can see, I want this around here because I'm going to shoot from here. So I want to shoot my ball all the way here and then shoot to the base. So right now there are a couple ones. It is the uh, third phase. I suggest you do what I'm what I'm proposing you to, to you to do uh, either on the third or fourth phase because there's less chance that people will steal your balls in the first two phase there's a lot more stealing people just want to do their one goal so that they can get the rewards and then they're done which is basically what I'm saying you should do but uh, it's always better to do it on the last phase where there's next to no incentive uh, to steal someone balls unless you're going for rank uh, one, two or three, something like that, which I don't. Obviously, I have uh, several accounts, so it takes me five minutes per account to do. So I have my setup and then the second setup is the shooting place, which is next to the, uh, the wonder. 
the base one there. So as what you'll notice is this is the base. If you go straight diagonal, if you follow this, you will find where I am at. So that's my spawn, not my spawn. That's where I'm going to shoot one of those two plays. I don't know if this guy uh, went there for this. Probably not, um, but uh, I. Whenever I do this, you'll see all my, all my castles around here. Uh, after I'm done, so basically, there we go. That's the setup. What you can also do is increase your travel speed if you have a lot. So I will do it. It's fifty percent, but you'll you'll notice it's not that big. Uh, if we, um, so yeah, but I'll, I'll do it for the for the purpose of this video. So. Once your setup, your setup is done, you go straight to your ball spawn and TP there. Uh, this will require you to use a bunch of boots. Uh, usually I use like a, uh, I use about two or three 75% and then the rest is 25%. I usually don't get people to uh, go for me. So my travel speed is 307 it's gonna go up to 1500 so basically that that setup it it's good but it's not uh, once you get to max speed it's it's not a big deal so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start uh building up that speed so i'm gonna hit that ball seven times i believe and obviously you want to hit that same ball every time so i'm just gonna hit back and forth i don't really care about the darkness around i could get some extra point like this which really it doesn't matter uh at the end of the day it's only i think it gives me 300 points you need uh 26 000. <laughs> so uh you're only looking at getting that goal so basically you're uh doing your seven it's there we go i'm at 900 i think i need to do two more or three more We'll see what's my max. There we go. I think I could do one more. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it up like this. Yeah, I'm at max. That's 1500%. So at this point, I'm just going to kick it close to me. And then I'm going to use my T4. So yes, the setup, you want to have T4. Uh, it's possible to do it without T4. It's just, yeah, uh, it's not that great. So once I've kicked it, I don't want to know where it shoots. I'm going to my shoot location. So I make sure that my troops are back. I relocate. I go back here and I will do this. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to use my T4. I have seven army. So if you don't have a lot of army, I suggest you use your, uh, your T1. So I'm usually I speed up until about 18 seconds, 20 seconds, because after that 25% only gives you like a couple seconds. It's not worth it. But the thing is I do have a lot of boots. So, and I still have these from last year. So um, yeah, it really depends on your boots usage. So I will do one, maybe I'll do a second one. Yeah, I think I'll do a second one and then I'll, I'll use T2 to get it close. Uh, so yeah, so there we go. Usually people don't, um, they don't, uh, bother me with that. I'll have like one person try to steal it, but at the end of the day, if they steal it, I'm at max speed. I can just get my troops back and then I can relocate to them and then mess it up for them. So at the end of the day, um, it's rare. So after two hits, you're like, I mean, you're not that bad. I, I think I'm going to do one more with T4. The thing is, you got to you gotta manage the time that it comes back. Otherwise, if you don't have that many army, you will have to uh, speed back your troops that are returning. So there we go. 20 seconds. I'll do one last, one last time. So 14 seconds. Uh, like I said, guys, it takes about five minutes to do. And uh, so... Uh, it, it'll be in the title of the video because right now I'm I'm rambling and I, I did not notice when I started. So 61 miles, I'm pretty close. I think I'm going to use my T1 at that point just to get it set up. So as you can see, it's really faster. So 19 seconds. And if, if you only have like five or six armies, like I said, you may want to use your T1 early on because they're going to come back faster. So you want to manage 
your army limit and at that point i'm good to i'm good to go with seven so at this point i'm getting about 10 miles per hit and as you can see from from when i started hitting i'm basically in line there's i'm gonna need to um put it back to where uh where i am if if i'm if i'm not in line if i'm like skewed to the right or to the left then i'm gonna do a diagonal hit there we go another 10 miles i don't want to use my t4 at that point because i don't know where it's gonna go there is a specific setup for this um that i use you there's a lot of room you guys i mean the base is wide you can uh, you don't have to hit in the center of the base there we go one more i think i'm gonna do one more t1 i'm gonna do uh, maybe a diagonal one to set it up you want to have your ball about two two tile inside the wonder so let's go one more hit i think the next one is gonna be a diagonal one uh maybe not maybe not i'll do one more yeah one more like this the next one's gonna be uh it's probably gonna be set up the next one's probably gonna yeah it's gonna be set up so i'm gonna do whoa you gotta be careful it, it's not at this point you gotta be careful it's here so one hit of t4 don't have to speed it up it's the next one that you will have to speed up so you go straight to your ball you got to make sure you got to be careful that no people are here there we go i'm doing this i'm gonna do 175 percent i'm gonna go look no one's tping three two one bang and there we go it, it's basically yeah straight center and that's it You've done it. You can do that with uh, you can do that with T1 and T and T3, uh, but there is a return time for T3 and T2. I believe that you cannot hit right away. So these are so basically, and, and the way you gotta look at this is um, how much is a. Uh, let's go back to my spawn zone. So basically, there we go. T1 is 5 tiles, T2 2 tiles, T3 is 10 tiles, and T4 is 15 tiles. So basically, how does this work is you go to the base, and basically you want to hit either on the wonder or the tile just next to it. So 1, 2, ugh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13... 14, 15, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So basically, I think you could do it from here, but yeah. that's why I usually hit from my first hit from the 2 or 3 square. And basically, like I said, there are 1, how many tiles? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like there's eight tiles in there so if you miss you really have to miss by a wide margin but otherwise you have a eight tiles that you can miss and still get a goal like you don't want to do this you don't want to get your ball r right next to it because someone can tp and steal your ball and that guy is there is he far is he far uh no he's he's basically doing what i'm doing he just messed up so so basically that's it guys now um yeah uh so you that gives you your solo twenty six thousand. i got 26 160 so yeah i got 26 from the base and i got okay it's 160 for uh level three so yeah um that's what that's what you want to do you can do like 13 of these the forts but that's 13 ball that's a lot of speed up uh, not speed up, but boots. Um, and and yeah, you get your rewards real quick. Uh, I don't know when I started this. It took it took five minutes, guys. <laughs> uh, and so yeah, I will be doing this with all my accounts. Um, there we go. I got the solo cup. Um, yeah. So so that's it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Are you guys skipping this event? 
Uh, one thing I would like them to, to add is artifact coins like they do for KVK and, uh, and Guild Showdown and Dragon Arena and stuff like that. But it, it's not a big deal. Uh, but otherwise, that's what I do. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you're doing it. Do you have T4? Can you do it? Do you have enough boots, uh, speed up boots like I do? Um, or if you don't have T4, uh, do you do it with T3? Do you have a hard time to get the uh, basically what I did? So instead of two hits with T3, you would have to do three hits. So basically one here and then two that you would have to speed up. Uh, it's not my favorite thing to do. I, um, I'm glad I don't have only T3 to do this. But uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching and see you later.